Third, we have the whiners and the blamers. Now, these are the folks who, as a manager, when you see them coming down the hall, you probably want to, you know, duck into the restroom or duck into the copy room and hide because these are the folks who just go on and on and on. Whiners and blamers are pretty much about bringing up problems and not being responsible for solving them. They complain about everything, but they never come with any kind of solution. And this just drains people's energy. And they're the folks who come in and go, you know, I just can't ever get those people over in marketing to help me out with anything. Or no one ever appreciates the fact that I work so late every day. Um, Harms relationships, leads to unsolved problems. And again, you don't want to reward that by just listening to it. And then last but certainly not least, we have the office bullies. And there's a lot of talk these days about bullying in schools and bullying on the playground, but there also can be bullying in the office. Um, I think sometimes this can get overstated in an office. People are now starting to label almost any kind of you know, negative behavior as this person is bullying me. But there are some true bullies in the office. Bullies are people who are really insecure, and they have to deal with that insecurity by doing things that make them feel more powerful in terms of berating other people or dominating other people or in the case of one manager that I knew hijacking an entire leadership team, this was a senior leadership team because this is not limited to lower levels, this guy on the senior leadership team would get really angry when anybody disagreed with him. He'd pound the table. He would yell. And unfortunately, his boss did nothing about this. So he essentially kind of hijacked this whole team and just shut everybody else down. Usually it's verbal bullying like that, but sometimes it actually is physical bullying. I have gotten... You know, emails from my, my newspaper column um, from people who are actually physically bullied. One woman said that this, this female coworker backed her up against counters or backed her into the door, let a door slam in her face. So those folks are certainly um, problem talkers when they are verbally berating people. So here's some general rules for dealing with them, and then we're going to talk about some very specific coaching techniques when you've got some of these chatter issues to deal with. The first I've just talked about, don't reward behavior that you don't want. Don't give attention to behavior if that's what people, if that's why people are doing it. Don't take information from tattletales, which will make them just feel more important. That just encourages them to bring more information to you. The second is don't tolerate people who are disruptive. It's amazing how often we do this as managers. This is what I call psychic management. That, and we're all guilty of this. Every manager on earth has done this from time to time. But as the manager, you see this disruptive behavior, and you think about what a problem it is, but you just kind of put off doing anything about it or saying anything about it, kind of hoping it'll change or not knowing quite what to do. 